Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's spring almost in Ohio. Right. Or is it spring? Is March 21st the first day of spring? I think so, I'm not really sure. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but we do know one thing, we're getting ready to start our gardening up. Yep. Da -da -da. <laughs> so this week we did, oh, last week we did a local grocery store called Mark's um, Taste Us, which was, we thought pretty good. This week we did a Walmart vegan. I feel like every time taste test. we go to Walmart, they have like new vegan things to try. Yep. Like those crabless crab cakes, those are new. Yeah, from our uh, Gardenia. Yeah, Garden. Garden. Yep, yeah. Garden. We love that company. And we got some chips, like whatever they call. Them. Yeah, there's snap pea crisps. Snap peas. Here they are, right here. Let's try them. They were two dollars. So they're literally peas, and they deep fry them, I guess. It says green peas, vegetable oil, rice, salt, and vitamin C. Ready? Cheers. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Try another one. Try another one? Uh-huh. Kind of tastes like pork rinds to me, with the air in them. That's what the texture is, yeah. I think these are really good. Yeah. Like, really, really good. I think they're a really good, um, uh, healthy snack. Yeah, and they have, like, different flavors. We just got lightly salted, but they yeah. have, like... Yeah, I think it's really cool. Kinds. Wow, what a great way to, you know, use your green beans. It says, we love peas. We're obsessed with peas. <laughs> <laughs> Harvest snaps are called. From Snapia Chris. No GMOs. Um, how much were they? Like two bucks? Yeah. Two dollars. We would recommend them. Okay, so what we're showing you is a healthy lunch uh, that you can have. I think this was under like ten dollars. Yeah. It was under ten dollars. So, uh, next thing we made was a vegan. Peanut butter, chocolate, milkshake. Look at that. We just used uh, soy milk. Is that what mm. it is? Is it soy milk? Just almond milk. Almond milk. Almond milk. With soy ice cream. Soy ice cream. Hey, so uh, sometimes they find it, sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. Yeah. At uh, Walmart. They had it this time, so we said, hey. Like, we've gotten some uh, soy ice cream from different places and made milkshakes with them. Uh, St. Patty's Day, we made a green one. That is so good. I say this, those things <laughs> this is a ten. are like an eight, and these are like a ten. I mean, this milkshake is ten. Man, I'll give these a six. Whoop. Not into <laughs> them that much. I think but really whatever. Can I try the crab cakes next? Mm hmm. Okay. Next thing we got, mini crispy crabless cakes. Omega 3s, they're vegan. Um, you know, all vegan. I've never really liked seafood before I was vegan. I love seafood, and it's the biggest thing I tell her like, biggest thing from being a vegan that I really miss is fish. And it was funny because when you opened up the package, you said, oh my gosh, smells they smell like so crab. good. And I smell it smells just like crab to me. This is still really hot. Wow. Look at it. It looks like crab. In the picture, it shows a sauce. I was hoping it came, I thought it came with a sauce. I would make a sauce with them. I don't really know what crab tastes like. I tried it one time a long time ago. Does it taste like crab? Mm-hmm. It, it tastes does. really good. Yeah. Look at the texture of it. It looks like real crab. And it tastes like real crab. And as soon as I opened the bag, they were still frozen. It smelled like real crab. As soon as I opened the bag, I said, Mmm, that smells so good. I like it. A lot. How much were they? Um... Three ninety-seven. Four dollars. So we got 
Um, there's probably, so there's three, six, probably ten in here. Let me see how many it says. Serving size, serving per container, three. Uh, I think there's like ten in here. So. It's weird. I don't know if I like it or not. Uh, wheat protein, soy, wheat gluten, chickpea flour, spices. Um, so it's probably made out of like a soy thing, you think? I like them. And, um. Give them like a seven. As she has a, a video online, how to make this milkshake. It's so good. Yeah. I love it. What would you rate these? 10. Are you serious or are you just saying that? You ever have a Krabby, crab, crabby Patty? <laughs> I don't really know what crab is supposed Look to be. Look at that. Like. A stringy. Look. Yeah, the texture looks like crab. Crab. Yeah. That's so weird. I'm thinking if it had a really good sauce too. Like I would, I've had crab cakes that always have this with like a little sauce, like a tartar sauce or something, or like a red sauce like that has. And um, but by itself, mm, what do you run. think if we like crumble them up, kind of, mm -hmm. and have like crab cake tacos with like oh a sauce wow. And stuff? Fish tacos? Yeah. That would be awesome. Really? Yeah, that'd be a great idea. Yeah. So this next thing. Yeah. I'm like a little nervous about it. But... Our last thing we have is made by Sweet Earth. It's right here. It's a breakfast sandwich, but okay, who says you can eat whatever whenever? We say we eat whatever you want whenever you can. That was $3.98. So, low, I mean, it's $2 for one. So, it's made with harmless ham, <laughs> vegan chickpea patty. Which is supposed to be like egg. And the sun dried tomato. So, um, it's got flaxseed. See it? It's all supposed to be very healthy. And they make three other ones too. We've never seen these before. And we're going to reach out to the company, see if they want to. Send us some product. We'll taste test it for them. We're going to taste test this right now. It smells like... Crap. Sorry. No, no. It smells like... I don't know. It doesn't look that appealing to me. No, not at all. So, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Mm, my first bite's not bad. The bun's a little dry. Okay, so these we broiled in the oven for like 15 minutes. Broil them. Flip them. Because you want them crunchy. This, you put in the microwave. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I don't think it's bad, but mm -mm. it's not something I would buy again. Yeah, it's not bad. I think with that uh, sun-dried tomato sauce, I'm going to say it. Tasty. Um, I'm just like a, I was a baker and stuff like that, so I'm like a real stickler when it comes to the bun or the bread. I think bread, like when you're having a sandwich or pasta or whatever, you have, you always have bread. I think a bread is real important that it's right. And this bread is like. Dry because it's like frozen. Yeah, in my opinion. I give it like a six or a seven, but I think if I give like it a four, a five, a really busy person, mm -hmm. or something like that, and you're kind of used to eating like right. frozen stuff, I think you would like it. Mhm. Mm yeah. Because it does kind of taste like an egg sandwich. It does. Um. It is vegan, so. Yeah. We're here to show you guys and girls. All kinds of options that out there and um, i know there's probably about 63 million walmarts in the united states so i know everybody's heard of walmart 
So, you know, whether you live in Timbuktu or New York City, okay, if Walmart's around you, and this, if Walmart has, okay, vegan stuff, like Target, and I mean, all kinds of places have vegan stuff now. All these, you know, Whole Foods, naturally, they have a lot of vegan stuff. But, you know, there's not Whole Foods in Timbuktu, but there's Walmart. So, we're just trying to show you, you know, probably do another one next week because they actually did have a wide variety mm -hmm. of uh, stuff. And we know a lot of people shop at Walmart because it's cost effective and, you know, in today's economy and everything like that. Um, you know, we want to show you that it doesn't take a lot of effort and a lot of money to be a vegan. We put a little more effort into it because this is not like our typical scene, like eating like a frozen sandwich. And we make fresh stuff. Like she's going to have a cookbook going to be released in a little bit later. And um, she's always putting videos online. We're always making our own homemade stuff. Recipes but, on Huffington Post. Yep. Yeah, she writes for Huffington Post. And you can look on there to get uh, her recipes. And um, But we do this just to show like a lot of people don't have time. They have kids. They, got, you know, they work 60 hours a week. They want, you know, But they don't want to go to McDonald's. So this would be a healthy alternative to McDonald's, you know. This would be a good alternative to uh, Long John Silver's, okay. This would be a good alternative to Doritos. So, and this, <laughs> you would never know, anybody would know. they say, hey, that's the best milkshake I ever had. And yeah. you say, guess what, it's vegan. But what? How could it be vegan? How could it be vegan? It's vegan. So... I well, hope you guys enjoyed our Walmart taste test, and we're probably going to be doing another one next week. Walmart, we're trying to change it around. Shop, we're going, we're going out about <laughs> all around the world to see what different stores provide and offer. And we're finding new brands like this here. We never knew about this brand. Yep. We never knew about these. So, um, we'll see you guys next week.